Oscar Romeo Four, India Sierra Sierra, Oscar Romeo Four, India Sierra Sierra, Four U One WRC, Four U One Whiskey, Romeo Charlie calling. Geneva calling you. Uh, you are five and seven at the IT headquarters during the WRC 15 meetings where more 6,600 delegates from 160 countries are watching you. Uh, Oscar Romeo for India Sierra Sierra for uh, you one whiskey Romeo Charlie over. And uh, we have you five by seven um, and we are delighted to be joining you. Uh, for the IQ World Radio Communication Conference, and uh, I'm excited to be talking with you with our ham radio asset. Excellent. Can we proceed with the questions uh, from the students? Over. That would be terrific. And it's both uh, myself and Tina that are here ready to answer questions. Over. Let's go. Hello, my name is Alessandro Lombardini. My question is: What emotion do you feel in space when talking to somebody on Earth? Over. Alexandra, I'll, I'll answer this one. Um, you know, it is. Uh, I, I'm delighted to, to be able to talk with people on the ground, whether it's using our uh, um, internet protocol phone, uh, or video family and with uh, people that are interested in space on the ground is a, is a, a terrific uh, event always. Um, and we love to share the excitement and enthusiasm that we have for being up here on the space station. Over. Hello, my name is Hannah, and my question is, what are the typical school subjects covered by your researchers at the moment? Over. Hannah, it, um, it, is, it is amazing what uh, my primary and, uh, and university and graduate school experience has, how those have prepared me um, for life up here on the space station. You know, our research covers the broad spectrum of physics and uh, biology and, um, and even uh, geography and geology. You know, uh, all of those have contributed to our, our understanding of the research that we're doing up here, uh, which includes uh, life sciences. We're studying the heart, bones, muscles, and eyes. Um, and in terms of physics, we're studying combustion. And, uh, and not only in our research, but just in our everyday life, we can see how uh, the various subjects that we've studied um, come into play. Uh, just being in this weightless environment, we can, we can see uh, Newton's laws of, uh, of motion. And uh, it's pretty exciting. Thanks for the great question. Over. Hello, my name is Maxim. Uh, are, this is my question. Are your dreams different when you're on the ISS compared on Earth? Over. Uh, thank you for a good question, Maxim. Uh, yes, uh, that is quite different. Uh, when I was in the theory there to dream of, uh, on the space station without gravity, but now we are spending, uh, I mean, living in ISS for more than 100 years, uh, 100 uh, days. <laughs> so now I'm uh, dreaming about uh, I mean, living in ISS without gravity. About like a 50% of my dream is on orbit uh, with, uh, without gravity. And 50% actually I'm still uh, living on Earth and uh, with gravity and doing uh, normal stuff uh, on the ground. Thank you. Thank you for the good question. Okay, we congratulate you also to the 15 years anniversary of presence of human on the ISS. And can we have one more question to you? Please, and thank you for the congratulations. It's, it's amazing as a, as a crew to be a part of uh, this long legacy, having 15 inhabited the space station for 15 years to do uh, science that benefits uh, not only our understanding of the universe, but uh, to benefit the Earth as well. My name is Julie, and I'm the deputy head of the U.S. delegation here, and I'd like to know why the radio spectrum is important to you. Hi, Julie. Thank you for that, uh, that great, great question, and thank you so much uh, for representing um, the U.S. at, uh, at this conference. Um, you know, the, the radio spectrum is incredibly, incredibly important, uh, not only for what we're doing right now, the ability to communicate, um, between the space station and Earth, but just uh, you know the management of the radio spectrum, so that we can accommodate uh, the, the communications that are required for um, for aircraft, for uh, business communications, for for cell phone communications, all those things that uh, I think 
many of us take for granted uh, requires um, oversight and uh, regulation in order to make it efficient. And, uh, Thank you very much. We wish you a lot of success for the whole crew on the ISS and I think the QSO will be over. That's why Oscar Romeo for India Sierra Sierra, for you one whiskey, Romeo Charlie, 73, goodbye. And uh, for Uniform 1 Whiskey Romeo Charlie, this is Dr. Romeo for India Sierra Sierra. We thank you so much for your time. Uh, wish you a wonderful conference and 73. 73, goodbye.